Today we'll be looking at a couple of Microsoft products that have new accessibility features. I'm in Office 365 and I'm going to show you today some of the accessibility features that they've added to the software. I'm going to start here with Microsoft Word. And I'm going to open a blank document. Now inside the operating system there is a speech to text program and it's now built into the online word application you'll see there's a microphone over here and you click dictate and it's asking me if I, I want to use my microphone and I'm going to click always allow so you see now I'm typing on the screen period most people don't know that this exists, period. You have to say the punctuation, comma, and be ready with the appropriate mark, exclamation mark. Now that's the first thing I wanted to show you. And you see that's pretty easy to use. Next, I want to show you that there is a great tool for reading documents. To demonstrate that, I need to open a document. I'm opening a file from OneDrive for this demonstration. It's here in my Documents folder. Here's the file. We're going to take a look at Immersive Reader. First, we go up here to the View menu, select View, then Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader starts up by changing your view of the document. Click the Play button. Maps and Models Maps are one of the most sophisticated graphics to try and design accessibly. Here are the settings, where you can alter the voice speed and voice selection. You can alter the font and text size. Then you can change the font style. You can also change the colors using themes. The next button lets you highlight parts of speech in the reading. You just toggle these buttons for nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. I have to find an adverb. Lastly, clicking the book icon, you can change the reading language. There are many to choose from. When you have Office 365, you're also going to have the ability to load the applications to your hard drive. You see that I'm in Office 365 and I'm going to go over here to install Office and I'm going to choose Office 365 apps. And this would include Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and many more. When you install the applications on your computer, you also have the ability to use a feature called Read Aloud, which is like Immersive Reader. Go to the View menu in Word, choose Learning Tools, this opens a panel of selections, starting with column width, then page color. I'm choosing inverse because of the high contrast. Next you have text spacing from larger to smaller. Column width can affect how easy it is to read too. Choose read aloud to begin the reading. Wadering during his student days at the University of Berlin from 1892 to 1894 is not supported by evidence. It implies that Click Weber pause. was all... You can change the voice from the settings button. Let's hear the new voice. Click next section. With stubborn facts, 
Weber and Dubois were contemporaries. Click back With twice to read the no previous paragraph. Dubois and Weber had either a personal or an intellectual relationship. Immersive Reader is the preferred reading solution. We suggest using Office 365 for reading. The same commands are also in other products in Office 365, such as OneNote. If you click on the OneNote icon in Apps and it opens up, you move to one of your folders. And when it opens up, you're able to put your cursor here, then go to Home Ribbon, click on Dictate, click back in the file. New paragraph. Once you are in the file, comma, you can type with your voice. If you go to OneNote on your hard drive and open it up, and you have a document open, you can use what's called Immersive Reader as a reading tool. Basically, you just will put your cursor at where you want the reading to start and you'll move up here to learning tools. Immersive reader and you see that I have a yellow background with black letters that can be easily changed by coming up here to the font size choice and I can set it to green, blue, pink, white, and black. I can also change the font to be a different style depending on how you want it to read. You can also put spacing between the words and the letters. Alright, now I can also decrease the size or increase the size. Next we're going to look at the voice and again like read aloud we have the choice of Microsoft Zira and I also have some Scansoft voices but I'm just going to select Microsoft David and click play. Topaz PhD portable video magnifier does not read aloud so this tool is much better developed than read aloud and I hope it helps you or your clients